This will be an interesting one, folks. Let's see if we can make it look any good. Okay. Gonna leave it at a hundred. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here a sequined jacket. So it's a jacket with loads and loads of sequins. Okay, we're interested in the rear side of it. We're just going to do the rear, rear of it somehow. So we're just going to show you folks roughly what the pattern on the back looks like. It looks really nice. Um, so this is what we're interested in. So I'm just going to use my camera hand and maneuver this piece of sequined loveliness onto the glass i'm actually turning it around i was going to turn it one way but i'm now turning it this way and we're just going to line it up on the glass nice and neat so hopefully it'll be it'll look really nice we got it on an angle so let's see how we go Okay, out it comes. Yeah, look, it's turned, some of it's turned blue, which is really interesting how that's happened. Uh, wondering, we've got a little bit there. I'm wondering we're going to, how we're going to maneuver it. Um, see, that looks like a, a good center, but that there, oh, I don't know. I don't know which side's which. Um, I'm going to turn it further that way and I'm wondering where that line is that I can see I don't know it's not an easy thing to do folks okay out it comes Let's see how that looks. That looks more interesting. We've lost some of those lovely sequins there. However, um, just thinking, um, maybe I could just slide it up a bit. Slide it up, move it in a bit. You know, it's not much room to move. Um, Okay, well that looks interesting. Uh, wondering where the center of the job is. It's not. It's not where we we want. I want this to be like the center. Uh, so I'm thinking we're going to enlarge it. Perhaps maybe move it up a bit, up this way, and we're going to enlarge it. Make it two hundred percent. Okay, that one. Yeah, that's too big. We've lost a lot of that really nice material there. Uh, obviously, it's too close to the edge. I don't know where that, where those uh, silver sequins actually are. I think they're at the bottom. They look like they're actually at the bottom, not at the top. So I'm just going to slide them up 
into the corner just roughly. I'm just going to stick him in the corner and hopefully it'll look good. Not an easy thing to photocopy these to make them look good, even though they have potential to look really nice. Okay, out it comes. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Um, but again, we're, we're too far away from the edge. Uh, wondering which way we're going to move them. Going to move them up. Up again, more further up, more hanging over the edge of your seat, kind of up. So, yeah, that looks interesting. Um, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted those sequins to be in the frame, but they're not. I don't know why we're having such trouble trying to get this to look really nice. Maybe I'll have to push them down, back down, further down, right? So we're just going to push them down and hope that'll make it. I'm getting desperate, folks. It's not easy trying to know which way to push so annoying folks trying to get this to look really really nice trying to make it into something good uh, again we've lost most of the sequins from there um, I don't know what to do with it folks um, maybe I've pushed it up too high. Um, it's not an easy one to fix, to make happen. I'm trying to be patient, folks. I'm trying to keep a level head. Now that's interesting how we got that line there, but we don't want this result. We don't want that result. What result we want is something that actually looks good. So we've got the sequins, the cut, the clear, the see the silver sequins there. So I'm going to try and visually put them on the glass. So I'm going to put them in the corner as best as I can. I'm going to put him in the corner while I'm looking. So, sorry about the the rotten camera work you can see here. But doing it by just by intuition isn't appearing to work. So I've got to use my own eyes to work out how it's going to appear, how it's going to look. And that looks a lot better, actually. You can see those lovely uh, sequins there uh, wondering if wondering if this is the one we want because I can see a lovely uh, diamond shape appearing there and there so I don't know if it's ready if it's going to look any good like this I'm hoping it's going to be the good one. So that's that one. I'm actually wondering, we're going to probably do a switcheroo with this because there might be more than one way to display this piece. So we're just going to make our uh, mirrored pieces now. So.
This demo is going to be fairly prolongated, we're just after 10 minutes and counting, just over that, yeah we're just counting. So we're just going to get these out, now I've got a feeling that this will have to be done as a switcheroo, in other words we switch around the a different to a different pattern, uh, different arrangement of these pieces because there's more than often more than one way of presenting the work or it could be a, a better way so I'm not sure anyway that's a really nice uh, diamond shape I'm actually thinking um, we won't switch a roux I think that's pretty well it I'm just trying to think if we need to switch it around if that's going to be any good or we're just gonna well we're gonna switch it folks we're gonna do a switcheroo if you don't know what a switcheroo is folks this is it this is just changing the pattern in other words switching it around I could be wrong that this first pattern was better um, it's not an easy thing to gauge trying to work out which pattern is the best and sometimes I wished I could have switcherooed when I had the opportunity when I go off camera and then I realize oh fuck this looks like shit I should have switched it I should have done a switcher what's called a switcheroo so switcheroos can be a really good way of making sure you get the best out of the work anyway that probably looks a little bit better as a switcheroo to be honest I think now I'm really happy we can now call this demo quits.